And may the word of God be as a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. This is Daniel Mattiel and welcome to Light for Kingdom Living. Today I'm standing right in front of a very popular church location in London, England. It's the Westminster Abbey. Now this building represents church as it's been established for many decades, even centuries in this nation. This building in particular was restored in 1878 and of course the original building was built way longer before that. Now as part of our series, Jesus is coming sooner than later, I plan to share with you seven reasons that I believe that he's truly coming sooner than later, just looking at the state of the church today. We're going to be reviewing the 21st century church, where the church is at, and with that understanding, we would see very clearly that we are at a point where we can truly say he is coming soon. So what I ask you to do now is just stay tuned. I want you to stop. I want you to listen. I want you to learn. I want you to receive what I'm about to teach you on the subject of Jesus coming back sooner than later. And I can assure you that it would truly bless your life. Stay tuned. Now, the series of messages I'm about to start today, in my opinion, are the most serious messages that any preacher can preach. I've titled the series of messages, Jesus is coming back sooner than later. Yeah, I'm going to repeat it. Jesus is coming back sooner than later. Now, I know the first thing that's going to go through your mind is going to be really what on earth is he talking about? Well, let's just start this uh, message just, just with this Bible verse. It's found in the book of the Acts of the Apostles, the first chapter and verses 9 to 11. I want you to listen as I read because you see, the Bible gives us a good historical record of what happened at the very point in time when our Lord and Savior began to ascend off the earth into the heavens. Please listen. Now, when he had spoken those things, while they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will soon in like manner as you saw him go into heaven return. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is coming back. And I like to add this additional phrase to it, sooner than later. Now, you might be watching me from behind your TV screens and saying, Apostle Daniel, why are you teaching this at this point in time? Well, I want you to listen to this and listen to this really clearly. Number one, I've got to make sure that in this season we don't perish out of ignorance. It's the responsibility of the body of Christ and every anointed preacher that we don't perish because of ignorance. Number two, to help understand what time it is. Number three, to encourage you to pursue God's purpose for your life in this season. And number four, to encourage you to pay the price for your development and deployment. I'm going to repeat those four again because you've got to get this clearly. You see, for so long, people have been speculating about you know, the, the death and, and burial and, and, you know, the resurrection and, and particularly the return of our Lord and Savior. 
And I think it's one of the things that even the devil has, you know, really enjoyed doing. You know, just getting some crazy folks out there who will throw out a date and say, well, Jesus is coming back on this date. And then when it doesn't happen, maybe after a while that is consistently not happening, people can become desensitized and relaxed and say, well, we've been hearing it for so long. When is it going to come? Well, I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me clearly. Jesus is coming back. Are you tired of working hard and going nowhere fast? Are you fed up working jobs that bring no true fulfillment? Do you know what you really would like to do, but can't afford to make the change because of financial obligations? Well, you may be stuck in the rat race. A life of working just to make a living, but lacking the true purpose and fulfillment. In this new book by Pastor Daniel Mattiola, you can learn practical principles and biblical truths that will help you identify if you're stuck in a rat race, how to get out of the rat race, how to reconnect with your true purpose and dreams, how to begin living a life of true fulfillment and joy. It's time you get out of the rat race and into your God race, where you can enjoy a sense of purpose and true fulfillment. 